Hi, my name is Steve. I'm the manager of Sustaining Engineering, and today I'm going to talk to you about the replacement of the keypad module on the Omni product line. Let's get technical. The Omni has two basic chassis variants, the XT variant and the RT variant, and each of these variants have multiple keypad types. So in today's example, we'll be using the XT variant with the keypad, a numeric keypad, and this replacement technique is the same for all the variants in the Omni product line. With any electronic equipment, please remember to use the proper ESD protection. And as well, it's always good practice to remove any power sources from the device, such as the battery. The tools required for this replacement are a torque driver and the new keypad replacement tool. This tool replaces the old tool that we had used in the past. The first step in the process is to remove the four screws around the bezel. We're now re ready to remove the keypad bezel using the keypad removal tool. Ensure the two tabs on the keypad removal tool are fully engaged into the bezel. And once they're fully engaged, push the tool up towards the display in that manner. So once you're engaged, rotate the handle upwards and the bezel comes out of the housing. The next step is to remove the elastomer with hard caps. And finally, you're at the keyboard PCB which is connected to the power routing board underneath with a flex cable. Remove this flex cable, and once you've done so, you've completed the removal of the keypad assembly. There are two replacement kits for each keyboard type. The first is the keypad replacement kit, which includes the elastomer, the bezel, and the overlay, and the other is the keyboard replacement kit, which includes the elastomer, bezel, and overlay, but also includes the flex cable, the PCB, and the screws. The first step of the keyboard replacement is to install the flex cable into the keyboard PCB. The flex cable has indication on which end fits into the keyboard PCB. The power routing board connection is the next to occur. Ensure the flex cable is fully seated and that the connector is locked in place. The elastomer is the next step. On the back side of the elastomer is actually the sealing ridge that provides the IP seal on the device. Ensure that's seated properly in the housing to to maintain the IP seal of the product. The final step is to replace the keypad bezel. The bezel has six tabs on it, which also support or help the bezel stay in place and maintain our IP seal. That needs to be snapped in place. And once all six tabs are snapped in place, ensure that the gap between the bezel and the housing is consistent so that you know that all of the snaps have fully engaged. The last step is to replace the four screws on the keypad bezel. With the four screws now replaced in the keypad bezel, your keypad installation is now complete. Please note, if you've changed your keypad type, you may require a software upgrade, so check your user manual or ingenuityworking.com. I hope you found this useful, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.